Morning Quadcopter 101 here. And today's shout out goes to Bulo Sabak. Bulo was first to say first of one of my recent videos, and thus was the shout out. So, congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here with a review of a nice new beginner's learn to fly drone, folks. This is the ZLL SG300S. Very inexpensive and tiny little drone for beginner flight pilots only. Uh, this is a learn to fly drone only. <laughs> There's no camera on this, but it has a special feature we'll talk about here shortly. Now, this is the upgraded version of the SG300. The upgraded version now includes obstacle avoidance sensors, okay? So this has obstacle avoidance to help pr protect the drone, to help prevent it from bouncing into objects while you're learning to fly, especially in your home. Now, it only weighs 34 grams with the battery installed, so that means there is no registration required to fly this. Um, it, being a beginner's drone and being a very inexpensive toy drone, um, it is powered by brushed motors. So keep in mind that these motors will fail eventually someday, but hopefully by that time you should have enough skills to learn that you know how to fly to get a better drone. Okay, um, it also includes prop guards on each of these motors, again for the beginner pilots, so that you can bump into objects if you accidentally bump into objects. Hopefully you can stay in the air and prevent damage to the propellers with that. Or if you bump into yourself, you're not going to be able to ding yourself with these propellers, hopefully, because they're protected. They're very well protected. Now, the downside of these propel or prop guards on this and this, the fact that this thing flies very slowly for the beginners is that you won't be able to uh, probably fly this outdoors. And I'll show you why. We're going to take it outdoors and attempt to fly it, and you'll see the reason why. Um, because any wind at all, <laughs> you're not going to be able to fight that wind. Now let's talk about that obstacle avoidance system. It has um, four infrared uh, sensors on it, on each one of these, and an infrared emitter on the bottom here. And this infrared emitter is built into the battery. We'll talk about the battery shortly. Um, so that this sends out a light signal, and these receivers, it, that light signal, if it bounces off an object, uh, these receivers will pick up that signal, that light signal, infrared light signal, and detect it and thus avoid flying into that object. That's the idea. Now let's talk about the battery. Um, first off, the battery, removal of the battery, watch how I do it folks. You have to slide it backwards like so to pull it out. Don't try to pull it out directly because you will break it. So it comes out by sliding backwards and goes back in by sliding forward like so. So I'm just letting you know. Let's look at this thing though. Now this is a little 3.7 volt 300 milliamp per hour battery. It provides up to six minutes of flight time. But notice built into this battery is the emitter, the infrared emitter. So um, it comes with both of that battery or in, installed inside the battery. So you're going to need the battery thus in effect to, well, you don't worry about it. it the, the emitter is included in the battery. Let's just remember that. Now it is charged by a little micro USB port right there. So you can use any micro USB cable, although they do provide you with one, but you're going to need a charger, uh, either a phone wall charger, USB wall charger, or you can charge this through your computer port, USB computer port. Now let's put it back in. Now the flight modes that this has for the beginner pilot includes altitude hold. Let me get that in there right. Altitude hold and headless mode and one key return. Now, altitude hold, that means this drone will automatically, can automatically take off and then maintain an altitude by itself without you messing with the throttle. Um, the headless mode allows you to uh, point the drone in any direction, and it don't matter which direction it's pointed. Um, you know, if you, it, it senses the direction that it was pointed at takeoff and remembers that direction so that even if you turn it in any direction, uh, if you push forward that direction that was pointed, will always be forward and the direction opposite direction will always be back left and right no matter which orientation the drone is to you so again that's made for beginner pilots to to um, fly this drone makes it more easy for them um, that is about it let's go over what you get with this drone you get the instruction manual in english and chinese you get the drone itself you get the uh, charging cable for the drone you get a full spare set of propellers you get a screwdriver, and that screwdriver is, I'm not sure what the screwdriver is for. Oh, it's to probably remove the top of these prop guards so you can change the propellers. That's what the screwdriver is for. I'm sorry, folks. Those, they're, these, the top of these prop guards are held in place by these little screws. So, now let's go over the controller. 
The control is pretty simple. The left button is for rates, increases the speed. One and two has one and two rates, actually two rates, uh, beginners and intermediate. But even at the intermediate, it's a pretty slow flyer, so keep that in mind. Mainly, again, for indoor flying, and we'll demonstrate how, why. Also, if you hold this button down, it does one key return. And, it rem and one key return, it remembers, again, the direction it was pointed at takeoff. And if you press that button, it will fly the exact opposite direction that it was pointed. That is not a true return to home. Keep that in mind. If you're off to the left or right, it actually might fly away from you. So don't depend on that for a return for return to home. All it does is fly the opposite direction it was pointed. Uh, this button here is for flipping the drone. You press it once and move the stick forward, backward, left or right, and the drone will flip in that direction. Holding it down for two seconds will put the drone into headless mode. And to come out of headless mode, you do the same holder to get down. This is the automatic takeoff button right here. And uh, on-off switch is right here. Now, one thing about this drone, when you fly it, before you fly it, Connect it to the controller by up-down movement, and always try to remember to calibrate the gyros on this. And it's, it's a simple way to, do, to calibrate it. You just put it on a flat-level surface before takeoff and bring both sticks down and inboard. Okay? You can also do uh, automatic takeoff, or not manual takeoff instead of automatic takeoff, by bringing both sticks down and outboard, and then giving it throttle, and then you can take off. And that's about it. So let's take it for a flight, folks, and see how it flies. So hope you enjoy this flight. Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and welcome to the outdoor test flight of the SG300S. Okay, to start this up, press and hold this front button until you see that light flashing in front, and then put it on a flat level surface, like so. Turn on the controller, and connect it to the drone by up and down on a throttle stick. And usually, try to do a, a, a gyro calibration by bringing both sticks down and inboard while it's on a flat level surface. Okay, let's try an automatic takeoff. And pushing forward. And going to higher rate, because we're outdoors. Can we do a flip? There's a flip, forward flip, back flip, and left flip. Okay, so let's go out in the yard here. So, you know, there's hardly any wind today, so if you've got a low wind day, yeah, you could probably fly this outdoors. But it has to be real low wind because this thing's such a slow flyer as you can see here. Let's see if I can do a rolling flip. <laughs> yeah, and continuing on. Notice I need to cut my grass. I'm going to do that today. <laughs> First time of the season. It's spring here in Erie, PA, finally. Been waiting for that spring to come. It's a pretty looking little drone, isn't it? In red. So yeah, this is mainly for beginner flyers to learn to fly with. Right now it's having a hard time coming forward. Go forward, go forward, little drone. Go forward, little drone. There we go. There's a little slight wind from my left here and it's fighting it. It don't like wind at all, folks. I'm telling you that right now. It's probably not an outdoor flyer. Okay, it, it's, you know, wind hits it and it has a little bit of problem with it. Actually, quite a bit of problem with any wind, as I'm seeing right now. This is, this is about two mile an hour wind. <laughs> and I'm full forward stick on it. So we're going to call it quits here, folks, and uh, go, let's go out indoors and fly it there. So, yeah, this, this does not like wind. I'm just letting you know that right now. Let's try the indoor flight. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and welcome to the Quadcopter 101 Indoor Flight Test Facility for the test flight of the SG300S. I still have my FPV race, race set set up over there. Again, I have an upcoming uh, review of a new FPV racer, a car FPV race car, so keep an eye out for that, folks, when I do that review. Anyways, to start this one up, we have the battery inserted, turning it on like so by holding down the on-off switch on the drone and putting the uh, front portion forward that way on my test pad here, then turning on the controller, and then up-down movement to bind to the drone. Now, remember, for this particular drone, you want to, if you can, 
uh, or calibrate it before every flight. And to do so, you bring both sticks down and inboard while that's on a flat level surface. So now that's calibrated and that understands that that is the level position for it. Okay, automatic takeoff. And let's see what it does. Maintaining its position, giving it a little more oomph. Let me bring it in a little closer. Look at this thing, it's lit up really nicely. Okay, seems to fly well. Now let's test its obstacle avoidance. Let's bring it toward us, not front toward us, but sideways toward us, and then put our hand there and see if it, oh yeah, there you go. So yeah, it, it sensed my hand. Let's, let's see if we can fly into the wall here. There, it bounced off the wall. So that worked. So yeah, the obstacle avoidance works. It is actually kind of easy to fly. Now, one thing, folks, again, I mentioned this probably in review or in the tabletop. Um, I tried to fly this outdoors. This does not have the oomph for outdoor flying. It just doesn't have the speed. So keep that in mind. You will not be able to fly this one outdoors. Okay, let's go to higher rate. Let's see how maneuverable it is. This is its top speed. That's why you can't fly it outdoors. If there's any wind at all, it just ain't going to be able to, f to fight it. Unfortunately, ah, that's nice. It's maneuverable. Actually, very easy to fly. So beginners should have no problem at all flying this. Whoa, it hit that, uh, it sensed that pole there. Let me see that again. There, it bounced off the pole again. Coming toward me. Coming down a little lower. Putting my hand in front of it. And it bounces off my hand and goes back. So the obstacle avoidance does work. Let's see if I can fly into... I mean, going back to low rate, see if I can fly into the hot tub over there. Trying to fly into the hot tub, and it bounces off. Flying toward it, bounces off. Flying toward it, bounces off. So it's kind of hard to fly it into the hot tub. In a higher rate, you probably can, okay? But in low rate, it's difficult. Okay, let's try a flip. Okay, does it flips nicely. Bring it up closer and do another flip. Forward flip. Left flip or right flip. Bring it back over there and a left flip. So it does flips nicely. Okay, next thing, a headless mode. We hold down the flip button. We should be in headless mode. So now I can pirouette it while I'm flying it. And don't care which direction it's pointed. That's headless mode for you. It don't care which direction it's pointing. That's back, right, or forward. Uh, left, right, but does obstacle avoidance work in headless mode? Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. No, I don't. No, I don't. Coming out of headless mode. There. <laughs> now it does. So obstacle avoidance goes turns off while in headless mode. Keep that in mind. Okay. One key return. Let's fly over the, the houses here and pressing the left button down and holding it. And it thinks that's the headless... One key return direction, so it's stuck behind the stanchion there. So it, it forgot which direction I, it was pointing to take off. It was pointing in that direction. It should have flew back this way, but uh, it seems to have forgot that direction for headless mode. So going back to higher rate, and we'll finish up off the battery just flying it around. Over by my peppers. And they're there, seeing how maneuverable it is. It is maneuverable, as you can see here. Okay. Going around that way, that way. Bring it closer. Going around that way. Closer still, and that way. And then figure eighting it. Figure eights with it. So, yeah, highly suitable beginner's drone for indoor flying. Okay. Again, I took it outdoors. <laughs> It did not like any type of wind. Um, I had about a five mile an hour wind, and this does not fly five, five miles per hour. <laughs> okay. Top speed on this looks like it's about three miles per hour. So, uh, yeah, I don't have problems in the wind. <laughs> so, can I fly around the stanchion again? Ooh. It... Okay, which way? Oh, there. There's the front. <laughs> Look for the light. That is the front. You see the light? It's flying toward you. <laughs> okay. Okay.
Okay. That's one thing about these little drones. It's hard to maintain orientation on them um, because you, you can't really see which way is front or back except by the light that's on there. And the light is flashing, as you notice here. So that means our battery is getting low. It's drifting. You know, but while we got time, let's see if I can... There. Trim it. Again, to trim it, you press this button and then tell it which direction to stop drifting to. And when it looks good, you press it again. And it should be trimmed. And it's trimmed. So, okay, with the lights flashing, let's see how much more flight time we get out of it before it loses its power. <laughs> I don't know if we got much more time, but we'll see. Go to ride that way and ride that way. Oh, it seems to have quite a bit of flight time left after. The battery gets low. But right now, I bet you we can't do a flip. No. Nope. When batteries get low, you can't do flips anymore. And that's true with most drones. And we're almost done here, as you can see there. So so one more time, I'm going to selfie, or not a selfie, a uh, thumbnail. Going up a bit higher. It's getting harder and harder to keep it in the air. Bring it back toward me. And no, uh, that's it. Oh, that's it. There it is, bouncing on the ground. So that's about its flight time, folks. And that's it. So that is the flight of the SG300S with obstacle avoidance. Nice little beginner's drone for indoor flying. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101. Signing up. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.